uh, hi everyone welcome to the session so today we will solve uh, this very interesting question so so we have to find the small signal gain uh, v out by v in okay so this is our v out and this is our v in okay and actually we will solve uh, this question intuitively okay like in a like we will not write the kcl and kvs and so on okay so let's start okay so we can see that uh, we have a ideal diode uh, ideal uh, op amp okay this is ideal ideal op amp so we have ideal op amp okay so we know that to find uh, small signal gain what we do we find the overall gm and find overall r out and then we take uh, uh, the small signal gain is nothing but overall gm times r out right okay like we can do in this method and we can do the like uh, small like we can uh, uh, draw the small signal model of these components and write some kcl and kvls and we will find v out over v okay actually so we will not going to do that we will try to solve this uh, question intuitively okay so so actually we will make some segments of this uh, uh, circuit okay and uh, small segments are already known to us okay so what do we uh, what do we do for uh, to find the small signal model like small signal gain all the all the Uh, all the uh, independent source are inactive to find r out right and all the all the dc component is ac ground ac ground like all the dc component is inactive if the if the dc is voltage source then it is ac ground and if this is uh, current source then this is open circuit right to find the overall gm right so actually what we can see here is that so to find small signal gain so this v reference will be ac small signal ground right okay then what what should be the output here like uh, if if you consider this block so whatever the whatever the voltage at this node then the output will be nothing but minus a times let's say the vx okay let's say this is vx right so we can replace this block like the following okay so what i can do is okay then the, our reduced picture will be like this okay actually this is the systematic approach okay so so what are what we are going to do so this is our uh, ac small signal ground then what will be our reduced picture so this will be nothing but here is our ideal source okay then this is our m2 this is our m1 and we have a block of gain minus a right we, we can directly replace this block like this okay and we have v in here and we have a ground here and we have i not okay so this is our v out node right so actually this picture is actually resemble to this right picture right if we consider the small signal picture small signal incremental picture right now we will again we will again try to uh, make this circuit uh, in some segments okay so we know this segment previously right so this is okay so we know this segment previously right so this is our cascode structure okay right then what should be the uh, r out here what do we do we find let's say r1 okay 
so for a small signal picture like to find the output in minutes this is ground and this is also ground right for a normal cascode structure right cascade structure so so and uh, what we how to find this around we apply a v test here and measure the i test and we take the ratio v test over i test okay so this is our common cascode structure and if this is m1 this is m2 what is the output impedance so this is nothing but on plus gm2 ro2 times ro1 plus ro2 where this ro1 is the output impedance of this m1 and ro2 is the output impedance of m2 and gm2 is the uh, transconductance of m2 okay so and the, we write this approximately equal to the gm2 times ro2 times ro1 right okay so we we know this previously now in this case what happening is uh, okay in this case we can see that okay let me draw the picture again and and uh, what is the overall gm of this circuit overall gm of this circuit what we do we find a short circuit small signal i out and come uh, going to the ground okay and we take the ratio we take the ratio i out over v in right and what we get we get and we uh, like to find the overall gm we always neglect the channel length modulation okay but to find the overall r out we include channel length modulation and we know that we get this is nothing but a nothing but almost equal to the gm out okay okay so we, we know this previously right now here what happening is so uh, how to get this so let me draw again let me draw again here okay actually actually if we apply a vx here okay let's say this is m2 and uh, this is m2 and this is m1 actually if we apply a let's say vx here then what should be the vgs of this m2 like like what is the current flowing through this branch this is nothing but gm2 times vx and there is a negative sign right this current like if we if we apply a voltage here let's say vx then what is the current current is nothing but minus gm2 times vx so actually this gm2 gm2 is representing this gm right this gm2 is nothing re representing our this gm okay so this gm actually this gm is representing our this gm right this this gm2 okay now in this in this problem in this problem okay so in this problem let's say if we apply a vx here okay apply a vx here then what should be the current so here the vg becomes minus a times vx right then what should be the current we know that current is nothing but gm2 times vgs2 right so here vg is minus a times vx and vs is itself minus uh, uh, like vx right so this will be our current right so this will be gm2 so here we can see that our uh, overall i out will be nothing but minus of uh, 1 plus a times gm2 times vx so actually we can directly see the result okay so previously we have we have minus gm2 times vx and that this gm2 is contributing our r out okay like this r on okay now we can see that here the i uh, like i out is increased by a factor of 1 plus uh, a plus 1 right so we can directly see our overall gm2 of this m2 like overall gm2 is increased by 1 plus a and we can assume this is approximately equal to a because the a is very 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 greater than 1 right 
so actually in this case the gm of this m2 mosfet is increased by a factor of a okay then what do you think what would be the output so actually we have find that this r out of this overall mosfet is in, is now approximately a times gm2 times ro2 times ro1 right okay sorry let me so this is not so this is our into into r1 okay so this is our now overall r out okay approximately okay and what do you think what will be the overall gm in this circuit actually we have find that the overall gm is nothing but the gm1 okay we have find that right in this normal cascode structure but what do you think what will be the uh, output uh, like overall gm of this circuit this will be same right because if we apply a like if we short circuit these two ground i out and this is open circuit right in the small signal picture so so this i out and we can see that the op amp having no like high impedance right infinite impedance so no current can go to the op amp terminal so here the i is zero okay in this branch so and this is a gate of the mosfet so i i like current through this branch is also zero okay so actually to find the overall gm this structure is not contributing uh, like anymore okay actually we are getting the gm as previous we have calculated like gm okay so in this structure as well the overall gm remains same so this is nothing but gm okay so what the what, what will be the uh, gain of the circuit so this will be nothing but this gm this gm times this right so what will be the output so the like av will be nothing but and there will be a negative sign right because because we know that like the uh, this is what we can say the output will be negative right so here we can directly write write the gain of will be nothing but minus gm1 times this r out so this will be nothing but a times gm2 times ro2 times ro1 okay so this is our final expression and we find that in a in a uh, like in a different manner okay so this is how we can approach this approach this circuit and they are they are maybe like many many different type of approach but this is one of them okay and this is very intuitive okay so and if we solve kcl and kvl it will take like two three pages of your calculation okay so we are not going to do that and actually this circuit is called a gain boosting circuit okay gain gain boosting circuit okay our gain is boosted by the op gain of the op amp okay like previously we have a gain of gm1 times gm2 times ro2 times ro1 but now the gain is a times this right gm1 times gm2 times ro2 times ro1 so our gain is boosted by the op amp gain okay and uh, and this is also called the gm boosted circuit actually the gm of this mosfet 2 is uh, increased by a factor of a okay this the gm of this the 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 overall gm of this mosfet 2 is increased by a factor of a okay so this is how we can uh, approach this circuit okay thank you